All right, I want to talk to you today about the four cutting surfaces on the bar and a little bit of reactive forces. On the bar, we have four cutting surfaces. Push, pull. Again, push, pull. And the reason this is push and pull is, if I was to use the saw like this and start cutting at a tree, it would push the saw towards me. Again, if I was using it at the tree and I pulled the trigger, it would push the saw towards me. If I was using this as the tree and I pulled the trigger, it would pull the saw towards the tree. Again, if I pulled the trigger, it would pull the saw. Hence, push, pull. So we got push, pull, and now we have this top corner or quadrant, which is kickback, and the lower corner or quadrant, which is attack. Using the attack portion, no problem. Starting a cut with the attack portion. Actually, when you're gonna do bore cutting, you're going to start with that. So I can use that bottom quadrant of the nose to start a cut. The top quadrant, on the other hand, if I was to start a cut here with the top quadrant, which is the kick bad, kickback quadrant, I would get a kickback. And uh, as we all know, kickback can cause injuries. It, uh, you lose control of the saw. Should you be in the line of fire, it could be, it could, it could be a fatality. So what I have here is I have kickback and attack. Kickback and attack. So let's run through them one more time. Push pull, kick back, attack. Sometimes you'll hear some of the trainers or some of the guys calling this out there going, no go and go. No go means don't go starting your cuts with it. Go means it's okay to start your cuts with it. Now, will there ever be a time that you'll be cutting with the kick back or the no go portion? Uh, yes. If your bar is all the way in a tree, it's going to regulate itself and do its own cutting. But you're not going to start any cuts with it. Okay. Uh, I showed you the five safety, the, the four cutting surfaces and some reactive forces. I want to go over one more, one or two more quick things with you while I got you here. I'm going to uh, remind you again that a chainsaw is built for right-handed use. As you can see, the bar is on the side of the saw and not in the middle, and it's not on the left. That's so that the body of the saw, the power head, can be between the bar and your body. So if you're operating a saw correctly off your right side and it kicks up or has kicked back, you're going to be good to go. If you were operating it left-handed and it kicked up, not so good. Not so good at all. So saw is made for right-handed use. Use it off your right hip. These are some ways you can use it. Get it down. Use your body. Don't be afraid to get down and use your body, okay? And stay out of the line of fire. So. One more quick time. Push, pull, kick back, attack, or no go and go. Right handed chainsaw, work it off your right side. Thumbs wrapped, keep those thumbs wrapped on the handles, and you should be good to go. Thank you very much.